I really love talking about my past. Like my past was so much fun and realistically I had a lot of fun just with the incidentals and nuances of owning a company. Like I said, Lucifer White Star Lines, um, uh, mining, shipping, printing, um, textiles, uh, just about everything basically. Food production, of course, because uh, beginning when um, when if you wanted to have people work for you, they had to be able to eat. So from Roman times on, basically. But um, right now I'm talking about uh, steam trains. <clears throat> Funny, interesting thing is we couldn't get both steam, uh, both, um, I mean, I'm talking about electrical trains and steam trains. We couldn't get two electrical, uh, electrical trains to work together. Um, one would always drag the other. Don't ask me why. We couldn't even get two motors to work together. Like you notice on some of the early uh, electric conversion um, uh, uh, trains, you'll notice that, that, that two of the wheels are linked together by a bar. And what that was, was one wheel, we couldn't get them both to turn at the same rate. One would always try and out-turn the other one, or would, would actually try and, one would drag the other one or something like that. You know, they would never, because the way electrical motors work, it's more of a grab thing. We tried this little thing where, where it would feather one of them, but... And, and, and some engineers could get them to, could, could like run the dials, as they say, and could, could get all the motors to sync up basically together. There were some, some engineers that, that were like, okay, a little more on that one. And that one always runs a little bit light. And then, you know, because you're, it's the way it works. Yeah, it's, it's, it was the control circuitry tree of, of that era. I think we made it so we could somehow do more load, less load or something like that. And we had a dial for each one of the wheels. And we tried that for a while, but it didn't really work. Uh, kind of worked, but um, and the and the best way was just to put a bar between them, and and then also feather and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets all complicated. But anyway, basically, we couldn't get one electrical engine um, and motor set up to work with well, work with another one. Um, the cables were were just too massive, or something like that. We tried big, massive cables, and we did do one or two, but they were really ridiculously expensive. And I had a couple, of course, I had like one or two or three or something like that for some of my ore haulers, mostly for, for my mines, uh, going from my mine to the um, smelting plant and back or the rock crusher and back, that kind of thing. Anyway, though, um, <clears throat> so what we often did was we would use one electrical engine and a steam train on my rails, on my long term rails, because I had these short haulers, which were which were from the mine to the um, to the to the um, to the smelter, and then and then I also had the long rails, which which were were like from the smelter to like the manufacturing plant, which actually often were, were were close together, but sometimes they were far apart because of the chemicals and all that other kind of stuff and contamination, and also just having like 150,000 worth people working for you, or me actually. Uh, so basically. Um, and, and, and oftentimes what I would do is, is I'd have one big, huge mine where I'm mining this great, big, huge ore, ore mine. And a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of people would want to be prospecting or they would want to, you know, do whatever. And I'd be like, all right, well, you can throw your ore on top of mine and, and I'll go ahead and smelt it down for you. And then, you know, you can give, and then, we'll, and then, and then we'll, and then I'll just pay you whatever, or, you know, you can get your metal back. <clears throat> so. They did it, I think, by the shovelful or something like that, where they counted or something like that. Um, but there's always like like a little bit of cheating and stuff like that. Like they would count for two and then <laughs> count for one. <laughs> they, they, they would th they would throw on they, they they would throw on one and then count two or something like that. Um, but I mean, I have I have the big mine. I'm like, you know, going through the earth like steam. You know, great big huge mining and boom blasting and I, and I'm moving out thousands of, of, of yards of, of, uh, of ore. And these other guys are just like, ching, 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 ching. You know, I always let people go in and basically mine with me whenever I'm mining, uh, on my mining operations. Uh, the other people are like, well, should we, uh, it's okay for these people to come in here. It's like, well, yeah, as long as they don't hurt anyone and make sure you don't, uh, they, they don't get hurt or they don't, you know, try and kill you. And, uh, and so like, okay. And I think they were doing some some stuff that, that my people didn't like. And so I'm like, shoo them out of the mine. Forget it. Because they were doing some stuff that wasn't safe or something like that or using dynamite in an unsafe manner. And I was like, that's it. You're out. So I had to throw out some people out of the mine. And they built a mine right next to mine. And I was like, well, <clears throat> you can still use, you know, you can just add a, add a ore cart to, 
you know, I, I like, I like added an ore cart to, to my train. I was like, all right, well, this one's yours. Uh, I mean, not you, I mean, you can use that one, but, um, so basically they would, they, they would fill it up about half full and then sometimes take out like a whole ore thing. And my people got mad at them. We're like, like, now that's just not right. You know? And, um, because they were trying to cheat, of course, they're always, you know, people were always trying to cheat me and, and, and cheat my miners. And my miners were like, we mine this, the, this ore and we make the food. And, you know, you guys are trying to get one over on us. So anyway, so my guys ended up getting one over on them somehow. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but anyway, but, um, but I did it for the Indians and for the Chinese. I would be like, all right, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot, a lot of the Chinese, a lot of the Indians were like, yeah, we love it, you know, because, um, you, you're adding an, a, an extra car to, to your train and, um, and you pay the coal and, you know, we get the ore, you know, it's like, yeah. I mean, so, so basically there's always like, like these people like milling around my operations where it's like my operation where it's like, you know, long drilling and, and digging in really deep. And like all these people are always like, just like around, you know, making a little extra money or living in the town, but they usually, usually they go to the brothel and they spend it on the women. And then, you know, so <laughs> anyway, steam trains and stuff like that in my existence, uh, because I'm always like. White Star Lines, Lucifer, you know, I'm not sure if they put, they should have put Lucifer on the side of the trains at some point in time. It should have said Lucifer, White Star Lines on some of them because that was my name and that's, except I think they spell it with a C and it should have been an S because it's, it's actually Lucifer Star, White Star Line, you know, you know, a white, uh, white or whatever, Lucifer, white, I don't know. It had some, something like that. I forget. I mean, we're talking about like 30, 40 hundred thousand years ago or something like that but anyway yeah but it's an interesting coincidence is so you'd see a lot of um like 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 uh plus you know fuel and stuff like that uh we couldn't always get fuel for the for the for electrical engines so sometimes you know they had to like be pushed off to the side you know or they broke <sighs> they always broke steam <laughs> i would say i'd say a lot of times say, why do i even go with electric you know, it's, it, they're always breaking, like, 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 they're always breaking, like, like something would fry or, or, or someone would get electrocuted. I mean, being burned by hot steam, it's like, hmm, electrocuted or hot steam? <laughs> I don't know, anyway, I, I like my, my little thing, my little existence actually a lot better. And, and plus like my, my, uh, my case tractors and my, um. I think they made uh, suitcases, actually, is, is what it was. They originally made suitcases, and then later on they made case tractors. Uh, they made, made made wooden steamer trunks or something like that, and eventually they they turned it into case tractors or something like that. Or were, They were making the cabs for some of my cars or some of my, some of my thing. You know, a lot of my a lot of my families, a lot of my businesses kind of ingermingle and stuff, and they even get married together, like... Like, like, the, like, you know, like a suitcase manufacturer, my suitcase company will get married to like the daughter of, of my, uh, of, of, of my sprocket makers across the street or something like that. Like they all kind of like go together and they like end up shacking up or what is it, whatever they say. And, um, or mixing, you know, you know, <laughs> have more employees, <laughs> anyway, uh, but, but anyway, you know, and then we have to build a house for them. Well, we didn't have to, but it was the right thing to do. So anyway, um, you know, people are always using my mills and then they, you know, and they ended up uh, dying and leaving the, the, their possessions or their property to, to like my companies and to my people or to me actually uh, as the Lord or whatever. Um, that's another thing is you see is, is the Lord or, or, or whatever. They, they say, I leave my possessions to the Lord. And uh, that is with Lucifer, White Star, Line, me, Lord. Um so, or creator, you know, um, anyway, it's all about the same basically, but yeah.